Aviation is unfortunately the elephant in the room. Jetzt werden wir ohne Silbertape. Nein, haben wir auch Schwarzes? We don't like to talk about it for good reason. It's incredibly difficult to decarbonize air transport. My name is Stefan Gosling. I'm a professor of tourism at Linné University in Kalmar, Sweden. And I work mostly with tourism and transportation in the context of climate change. Aviation is about half of global warming from tourism. And it's a big question mark whether we can develop the technology and the fuels and time that we need and also uh, then find the willingness uh, to pay for these. First out, we have sustainable aviation fuels. This already works. These are produced from used cooking oils mostly. Then uh, there is hopes uh, that we can have hydrogen aircraft at some point in the future. It's very unclear whether these will cover any demand in the next 20 years. Electric aircraft is sometimes talked about, uh, but it's just a solution for very short flights um, and not relevant at the global scale. The last option then is synthetic fuels, but nobody has working technology at this point. It will also be very expensive because it's very energy intense to produce these. Travelers need to be willing to pay substantially more, uh, probably at least twice as much for air transport if it's going to be sustainable. Only two to four percent of the global population do fly internationally within a given year. So what we do want is to first of all limit uh, the frequent flyers because they could do with less travel we think and still um, do their jobs and that could also be a major inroad to reducing the energy that is needed in, in global aviation. Destinations obviously try to attract um, travelers from wealthy markets. We believe that is not really necessary because it pushes the long haul flights that in itself are a huge share of the overall emissions from global air transport. So having closer markets will work for destinations and at the same time reduce emissions. Weather extremes are becoming more uh, normal. We see that there's an increase in wildfires and um, storms and, and heat waves, and that will affect tourism. We already see that mostly in, in uh, winter tourism, where snow is becoming something that's not longer, no longer guaranteed. So we have entered a very serious period uh, where we make the decisions as to whether we will still travel in the future or not. We can be sustainable, we just have to rethink tourism. Just 20 years ago, we had the first uh, low-cost carriers uh, in Europe and think 20 years ahead, maybe we could have a very different tourism system again that still fulfills all the dreams and the wishes and the needs that we have in regard to relaxation and meeting other people and being uh, curious about the world. Mm -hmm.